Hi Cancer, welcome to your September What You Need to Know Tarot Reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Cancer, looking at whatever needs to come out, many, many messages, only take what resonates. Not everything will resonate and leave the rest for someone else. Love, money, work, career, finances, um, life in general, whatever you need to know, I will tell you. All right, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Male or Female, General Collective Reading. Only take what resonates, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip, switch, reverse the energies anytime you feel the need to. Press watchers as well. You can let me know down uh, below, Cancer, how you like this reading. I was going to leave it on the channel or make it a part of the lineup every month, but I don't think I'll be doing that. But you can still let me know what you think. Please be polite and respectful if you don't like them. That's all I ask. Um, but welcome in Cancer. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. All right. So let's see what we need to know for Cancer. All right. Ten of Cups. It's time to express your love and appreciation for family, be it relatives or a chosen family or close friends. Congratulations may be in order on a happy, fulfilling marriage as well as raising happy, balanced children. Ten, ten down completions, full circles, new beginnings, you know, it goes to one. But this is, you know, happy home and family uh, fulfillment in every single way when it comes to love. So let's see. One, the magician. There is magic in the air. You can manifest everything you need to be successful. So one's our new beginnings. <laughs> Look at that 10 in, which I said leads to one, which we have the one here. So one new beginnings here. Okay, let's see. And justice. Eight. Eight is infinity, travel, action, movement, putting in the work. Fair decisions will be made after all the evidence is reviewed impartially. Have compassion for others. And try to see all sides of a disagreement justice so something could be going going in your favor could be in the judicial system doesn't have to be though legal matters or maybe contracts paperwork uh this is universal law and order for me you know truth clarity justice balance getting what we deserve um soul contracts past lives also it could be marriage or divorce so let's see where this is going it could be counseling i got that for some as well i don't know why i got that but fair and just or maybe some sort of counseling here some of you may be going for counseling like if your marriage has been on the rocks or a, say a connection and we do have new beginnings here oh we have the world here so we have 21 which is three which is growth expansion and we have here congratulations on successfully accomplishing what you set out to do you've made it through the challenges and incorporated the lessons life offered with you with offered you with grace and courage now you have three major arcanas here so i mean the world usually is about closing out of cycles and new beginnings could be moving traveling or distance hmm i feel like here um some of you may be like leaving one relationship and going and starting a new relationship i kind of feel that or you're just, you know, leaving, you know, once was a happy home and family, maybe, you know, you're leaving that and now you're starting off fresh and new, a new beginning here with the magician. Or some of you, you know, you finally settled down, uh, moved in together, or maybe finally got committed here, maybe married. So it's like that, that cycle has completed to where you're finally in a good place with your family, partner, whatever the case may be, and now maybe you're embarking and setting out on your own ambitions and goals as well. All right, Cancer, so let's see what's going on. All right, everything you need to know is down below. Your playlist is down there. List of readings I do, my backup channel. I may, if I do these in the future, move these to my other channel since these are more general. That was like my general channel where I just did just general readings. This is more my love-based readings. So I don't think I'll be doing these, you know, I'm not getting good reviews and I'm not getting good views at all, like people watching. So, um, but you can let me know what you think. Anyway, my backup channel is down below if you want to sub there. I'm not currently uploading, but if this channel disappears, you'll find me there. All right, Cancer. So welcome in. Hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. All right, what do we have for Cancer? Let's see. Six of Swords, again, could be moving, traveling. 
you know, coming out of a dark period, moving into peace, harmony, joy, love, and light. Death in reverse. Could have been from a situation where you felt stuck for quite a while, whether it was a relationship, a job, or something like that as well. Maybe some of you wanted to physically move and you couldn't. You couldn't afford it or whatever the case may be. So maybe you were stuck living in a place you didn't want to be in. Justice. Definitely something going in your favor here. Truth, clarity, justice, balance. So if you've, like, put in a bid for a home, that may be coming through. A job, new job may be coming through. Some of you may be getting married, divorced. Legal battles are over, going in your favor. Maybe it was a long, drawn-out situation. You can finally move on from that. Like I said, double justice here. So things finally, what was long, drawn out, going in your favor, whatever that may be. Again, Six of Pentacles here is like the minor of justice for me. So same energy. Things just balancing out where you felt uh, stuck here for quite a while, stuck in a situation. Maybe you didn't want to be in, you know, so whatever that may be. So maybe if you were stuck between two worlds of like one job to the next or moving from one place to the other or getting out of one relationship to be with somebody else you want to be with, whatever the case may be, um, that I feel like is all coming to an end here. Yeah. King of Swords could be somebody divorced. Um, so whether or not you're the one who's divorced or you're meeting somebody who's been divorced, this could be a lawyer, a judge, someone in the judicial field, in the law, law enforcement, medical, whatever. It's someone bringing true clarity as well. So we got Gemini energy here as well as Libra Scorpio. And this could be just, you know, direct communication, cutting out things no longer serving you standing up and telling it like it is. All right. Yeah, as so I cut the deck, we got cancer. That's you right there with the chariot. Moving forward fearlessly. Success, victory, balance. Positive movement forward. It could be moving or traveling. It's like you're putting your foot down and you're doing what you need to do here. All right. Cancer. So let's see what else do we have for you for September. So I'm going to kind of make these short and sweet. Because I don't want to spend a lot of time on this. I know, you know, a lot of times I don't just don't get the views, whatever. And okay, so let's see. We have the Seven of Pentacles and the Judgment card. So it's like all your investments here, finally being seen by the universe, and now things are being called into action to implement the seeds that you planted. So now things can start to can start to come into fruition for you as well. All right, let's see. That could be reviewing, assessing, analyzing your decisions. You know, judgment can be about decisions. Ten of Wands. So definitely releasing things no longer serving you. Things, something here is over. So definitely could have been a long, drawn-out ending. I definitely got that, whether it was a job or a contract or it could have been a, a marriage. It could have been whatever. Definitely was long and drawn out. Seven of Pentacles, a lot of waiting. But I think there's going to be some judgment here. High Priestess and the Eight of Pentacles. So I kind of feel like maybe, um, you know, don't tell everybody your troubles. I mean, this High Priestess kind of keeps to herself. So I think it, it could be, you know, just focus on your work, focus on uh, dedicating yourself to those things that you um, need to in your life. And don't kind of, you know, tell everybody your situation or your secrets or whatever the case may be definitely follow your intuition i feel like stay focused on the things that matter and you know be careful who you're letting into your circle too because you may feel like you could tell some people your secrets and then they may actually betray you so be careful of that as well but judgment is you know healing forgiving releasing what needs to be released to make way for new life review relationship review call to action making final decision even if it's by the universe calling things into action as they should be could be about past lives as well. So Scorpio Pisces here. Some of you may be dabbling more into your spirituality and intuition. So really trust in that as well. Knight of Cups. So, you know, moving forward, following your heart, your intuition, feeling peace, joy, love, and light in your heart as well. Some of you may be moving out of one relationship. Finally, and maybe it's been a long drawn out battle. It may be moving into a new one, whether it's you or someone that you're wanting to be romantically with, finally now is able to be with you romantically. That could be it as well. I mean, it doesn't have to be. 
but you get the magician um, twice here. It's definitely new beginnings are on the horizon. And taking that leap of faith here with the full fresh clean slate, fresh, fresh start, energetic reset, no baggage. Could be happening like any time now and uh, taking that leap of faith. So whether you're doing this or someone around you, definitely here. Yeah, temperance can be soulmate energy. Things balancing out, coming into alignment, healing, soulmate activation, bringing soulmates together at just the right time, past lives, healing, peace, harmony, joy, love, light, and happy home and family. Ten of cups twice. Wow. So either way, you're going to be very happy here. I mean, this could be you. Cancer for me, Scorpio, but it could be you. And we got Scorpio Pisces again here. So, I mean, you could be working hard on something too, and you're wondering if your investments are going to pay off on what you're working hard on. I definitely would say yes. Things are going to balance out, work in your favor. All right. So let's see, Cancer. What else you need to know? Cancer for September. Always go to the community tab, uh, Cancer. I always have a lot of polls over there, a lot of post updates. You know, you can leave your comments. All right. And I do appreciate everyone who likes, shares, subscribes, comments, hits the bell, supports me in any way, shape, or form. I do notice it. I do appreciate it. And I do thank you. It does not go unnoticed. All right. Let's see. Knight of Pentacles. So things are going to start to take off because the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is like the Knight of Swords upright. It's things that seem still stagnant, not moving. Things are going to start moving forward for you. Four of Cups, feeling unsure, uncertain. You know, if a situation is still there with the Ace of Cups, it could be anything. It could be about new love, um, a situation that you wanted to work out for you or move forward in. You are uncertain. Well, is that opportunity still there? I just don't know. Definitely, uh, that could be all of a sudden things start to take off. Two of Pentacles, where you're not feeling overwhelmed anymore, overworked. You know, more, it, maybe some of you have been working two jobs. You can finally let one go and just work one. Um, things definitely coming into balance for you. It's taking some things off your plate. Chariot, there you are again, Cancer. You know, successful movement forward. Being noticed. Success, victory, balance. Moving or traveling. Or moving forward very quickly. I definitely got that here. Empress in reverse. So I think if you're feeling uh, not truly in your element, you're feeling overwhelmed, overworked, not appreciated, not valued, maybe taking advantage of, you definitely need to reevaluate some of this and put an end to things that are not serving you, people taking advantage of you, putting too much on your plate just to satisfy others. And then once you clear the way and you release some of that, the universe is going to bring in things that you've been wishing and hoping for and things are just going to move forward for you definitely here i mean some of you if it's a new relationship maybe you haven't had the energy time to put into that because of other things going on and that could change as well so we have libra taurus cancer like i said some of you may be moving or traveling some of you may have to move in with like parental figure maybe your mom because they're not feeling well right now may have to take care of them for a while uh, that could be happening as well five of cups so sadness loss regret six of ones not feeling successful but then we have the emperor and the empress so definitely um the two you know some of you may be in a relationship where you're not on the same page anymore. It's no longer feeling like a good thing. It's not feeling successful. There's just a lot of sar uh, sadness, heartache, and pain around it. Some of you may be, may be able to heal it, though, because we do have uh, temperance with the Ten of Cups. So some of you may be able to heal this home and family. Um, or some of you would be becoming aligned with the soulmate here, maybe blending of families as well or starting a family with somebody new. But some of you definitely are walking away from things no longer serving you. Walking into something um, better than where you've been. Yeah, exciting new opportunities as well. Creative ideas, endeavors, projects, fire, passion, spark, chemistry, attraction, flirting. Maybe with somebody new as well. Do have Aries and Sagittarius here. But things are going to change. Fives are about changes. 
So things are going to change for you, especially with you right here with the um, chariot, which is cancer. All right. So like I said, I'll just make these short and sweet. Um, so let's see. Let's see what this deck has to offer. But if you did like this, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. Any support given is truly appreciated. You can leave a comment if you liked it or not. Uh, but I think I'll be probably not doing these and doing uh, more love readings. But I try something new, but, you know, sometimes it just doesn't work out. And again, everything you need is below. So let's see what this deck, let's see, full moon completion. Yeah, so things are definitely coming to its end, which is giving way to new beginnings, dance celebrating. Some of you will be celebrating these new beginnings as well, finally. Good things coming in for you. Maybe some of you need to move your body more, exercise, do something you enjoy. Maybe dancing, getting back. Maybe some of you did dancing as a form of exercise or something you enjoy doing. Maybe it's time to get back into that. Eagle communion. Hmm. Some of you may be getting... Um, uh, that's what I'm looking for. If you're going to work like for a different company, business, or something where it's a really big, huge corporation, you may be getting um, welcomed into that and having like a ceremony or something like that, or like a what's the word I'm looking for? Indoctrination or something? I, I don't. I, I don't even know the word I'm looking. For. You know what I mean? Leave it below. I can't even think what what I want to say, the term I want to say, or the phrase, but you know what I mean. Crystals focus. Mm. So this is focusing your attention on your new beginnings here. Definitely. Because you have that right there with the magician. Rain purification. So the rain is about cleansing, purging, releasing, healing, cleansing. Definitely here. And making way for new energy here. That is for sure. A lot of you are healing, purging, cleansing, detoxifying what needs to go purifying yourself and that's making way for new energy here definitely see that all right cancer that's what i will that's what i have for you so i hope that helped that resonated again everything you need to know is top below i'm wishing you the best and i shall see you next time